Not their prisons for profit. For loaning money into existence. For loaning money into existence. That they did not rightfully earn. That they did not rightfully earn. And for bribing politicians. And for bribing politicians. and some undocumented crimes of Wells Fargo Boo! against you! Boo! Get this party started? Yeah! Yay! The prosecution would like to call its first witness. We call Jennifer Voltaire. We are 99%! 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 Would you please state your name and occupation? Yes, my name is Jennifer Ryan Voltaire. Um, currently, I'm unemployed. I'm a single mother of two, and we're just trying to make ends meet. You were a homeowner, is that correct? That's correct. Wells Fargo actually helped me purchase my first home in a nice middle class neighborhood. And then what happened? Unfortunately, my job cut my hours. I wasn't able to make the payments that I, I was making at first of $1,200. So I applied for Obama's Affordable Loan Program. So you had this house, and then you applied for a different program to make your payments differently. All legal, correct? Correct. OK, and then what happened? Well, I sent in all the appropriate paperwork on my tax information, and they continued to tell me that they lost the paperwork. Whoa! Oh. Oh.
defense would like to go, sorry, the prosecution, oops, the prosecution would like to go ahead and call. <laughs> Yes, Captain Jonathan Rouse, please take the stand. Captain Jonathan Rouse, please take the stand. Captain Rouse. Captain Rouse, as you can see, because he's wearing his military uniform at the moment, has just come back to us from Iraq. Where he proudly served us. Yeah. Whoa, he two tours. No. And while he was away serving you, he lost his home. Yeah. Yeah. First story, what happened, sir? I was fighting the Iraq War. While I was overseas, Wells Fargo foreclosed on my veteran home loan, even though you're yeah. supposed to be able to do that legally. Unbelievable. They also overcharged me thousands of dollars in mortgage payments. They overcharged me. No! this time. Your witness. Mr. Rouse, couldn't it be said that this all could have been prevented if you didn't spend so much time away from your family? Objection! Objection! We this country! What kind of That's unfair, personally. I do not. I think veterans and military personnel who are on duty should receive home loans that are suited to the particular yeah. circumstances. Yeah. 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 I believe that real Americans stay with their family and don't complain like this man. That's all I have to say. Oh. Oh.
crazy rate, you know, for his toy factory for the whole North Pole operation, right? So pretty soon he couldn't pay it because of the screwy things that Wells Fargo did. So he got foreclosed on, and I lost my oh, job. Oh, wow. You were
Occupy Wall Street protesters a bunch of leeching bums. No! 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 They're all teenagers! We got kids! <laughs> Thank 
Please prove your point to me. Yeah, we love you, Santa. I have no they friends. messed with the wrong Santa. That's right. Yeah. 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 Their defense may cross examine. You got everyone fooled, Santa. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone thinks he's a good rocks. guy. He has given love. I what give really? toys. We make toys. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. Make, 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 make kids happy. You're just a businessman cutting jobs for profit. You're like all the rest of us. Oh, oh. Watch those guys. Watch them. 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 Remember that train I got you? Yes. So you love that train. <laughs> Well, regulations, I mean, it got so bad you couldn't take a good dump. 
without having a regulation in front of you. <laughs> the system was blocked up. The system, we had to loosen things. It takes, it takes years to know this. It's a whole different concept, of loose change, isn't it? <laughs> yes, well, we've got change here. I object. He's not showing him the respect he needs. Mr. Green Scrooge. Thank you, young man. Whatever. I'm showing the respect he needs. Oh, 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 oh. I'm, I'm very partial to this young man. Yes, thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I do tell the public about stories they need to hear. I tell them what they ask to hear about. And they ask to hear about? The new iPod that came out. Did you see that for Christmas? I think you know. Misinformation. You said that you had your home through Wells Fargo, is that correct? Yes. Isn't it also true that Wells Fargo advertises on your network? Absolutely. They're one of our biggest supporters. We love them. Yeah. So we're probably against your I best interest then to speak about them. Is that correct? I think I have all the right to speak about them. They're wonderful. They're fair. They support us. We have a wonderful relationship together. Yeah. I have no further questions for this witness. For my next witness, I would like to call Wells Fargo to the stand. Wells Fargo. Objection! Objection, Your Objection! Wells Fargo is a corporation, not a person. Therefore, they can't take the stand. Okay. Oh, During 
the barrel out, turn the barrel out. Did you not acquire a small bank by the name of Wachovia? Yes, we used our bailout money to acquire a bank called Wachovia to serve the public and our shareholders. Wachovia is the sixth largest bank in the United States. Quiet. Please, please. In the United States, taken over by Wells Fargo. Is it not also true, sir, that Wachovia Bank has admitted to actually taking over $364 billion while helping to launder Mexican drug cartel money? Oh my God. That was only a small unit in Mexico, and we paid a fine without admitting, admitting liability. Of course, sir, of course. You paid a fine? A fine? Of roughly how much was the fine you paid? I believe it was about $400 million. Actually, sir, it was less than that. It was $95 million. $95 million fine after they took over $360 billion in profits by laundering drug money from Mexican drug cartels. that Wells Fargo is the only bank ever prosecuted under the 1970 Bank Secrecy Act. There were other banks prosecuted. Well, none were found guilty. Uh -huh. right. Well, it was, only a, it was only a small unit that was responsible for the problem, and Wells Fargo is correct to solve it now. I bet they are. So let me see if I get this straight. <laughs> no, it's Wells Fargo admitted in court to defrauding over 60,000 military families. What? Wells Fargo admitted in court that they went ahead and helped launder drug money from Mexican cartels who are killing American citizens. Yeah. And Wells Fargo, not only did they pay no taxes, but got tax refunds. What? 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 Tax refunds? Uh, Fargo gets cold. I have no fucking witness. Oh, 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 oh. All you people disgust me. Seek profit at all costs. <laughs> if you seek profit at all costs, that is a real American. The invisible hand will guide you in this moral act. People 200 years ago that no one knows about wrote about that. So you should believe it. Whatever, whatever, I'll show you an invisible hand. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you've heard expert testimony today from various elves. From our brave men in uniform, from our smallest middle class people, about a company that has taken over $20 billion in revenue in the second quarter of 2011 alone, and has paid no taxes! <laughs> and in fact, they have taken your tax money and spent it on themselves! John Strump! CEO John Strump makes $10,000 an hour! <laughs> in this building over here, do not make $10,000 an hour! Ladies and gentlemen, you have to convict. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to find this bank guilty of crimes against the 99%.